Today on Meat and Heat, we're doing some beef shorties. I picked these up at a grocery store. They'll normally come like this, pre-cut, smaller, and they're not in that big plate form you usually see on other videos, but it's all right. You can work with these and do great things. So we'll start by drying them off from any of the packaging moisture, and then we want to give them a nice, healthy coating of salt and pepper. That's all I use. I, I use my own mixture of two parts coarse ground pepper and one part kosher salt. Then I use the ribs to pick up any of the excess rub that fell off to help build a nice even coating as well as eliminate some waste. We're cooking on my char griller smoking outlaw offset cooker today and it's just a fantastic budget cooker. I start by lighting a bed of coals and once those get roaring I throw a piece of oak on there for the actual cooking fire. Before I throw any food on there, I give it a spritz down with canola oil to help develop a seasoning and create a nice non-stick surface. And I'll throw a digital probe on there so I know exactly what the great level temperature is. But once this comes up to about 250, 275, I'll go ahead and throw my ribs on there and I won't check on them for an hour. Every 30 to 45 minutes, you'll need to add another piece of wood, so just keep that in mind. That's with every offset cooker. After the first hour, I give it a spritz of water. This helps create a nice, soft, moist, moist surface as well as keep it from drying out. And I do this once every hour. After I get to a certain temp, I want to start looking at braising these guys. They've already started to cook and draw on as much smoke flavor as they can. So what I want to do now is speed up the cooking process. So to help create a nice, moist rib, I'll braise it. So I'll throw it in an aluminum pan with some beef broth. And I'll throw it in there for about another hour and a half just to help really speed things up and get it close to that 200 degrees temperature I like. After about six and a half hours, these ribs are done. You can tell by the pullback on the meat. So after about a 30 minute rest, we're ready to cut into these guys. You can see they're just juicy, they're soft, they're tender and they're ready to eat. So let's go ahead and cut into one of these guys so I'll show you what I'm talking about. They cut like butter, just easy, but they don't fall apart like pulled meat. And you can see the smoke ring that's developed on there, as well as all the connective tissues and fat that have rendered out throughout the rim. I don't normally like to do this, but for the video I will, you can see when you squeeze them, a little bit of the juice comes out. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. I hope I helped you out today. Thanks for stopping by.